Aloha guys, Scuba Chris here. Now the other day I showed you uh, the package from Gomexis. Now it didn't fit the HD, but it fit the regular Seymour C series. And the reason being is because you, if you look carefully, see the, the this tube is hollow, but it's threaded on the inside. So what happens is that when you put um, the screw on the other side in, and you start turning it, it's going to fit, all right? That is how the original handle works. See, the original handle has that same um, threading inside of the hole. That is why this is able to work on it. So as I showed you before, just stick this through. And the other side, it's very simple. I mean, it's not like you have to drill this. I mean, some of the ones, even nowadays, you have to, um, if you're just gonna replace the uh, knob itself, you're gonna have to partially drill it. But this is the whole assembly, the uh, handle with the uh, knob. See, just tighten it, finger tight. You don't have to be really tight. There you go, done, okay? So this is done. So what else I'm gonna try this on, okay? This is one of my favorites, the, the 3000 ITX. I use this for uh, medium light, um, plugging, jigging. Um, to me, it's, it's a very versatile reel, but look how much I use this. That handle, see that? That's not stickiness of tape anything. That is it being worn down from just me holding onto it, doing that. You know, that only took months to do. That's how much I use this reel. So um, I'm gonna take this knob here. I'm gonna see if it fits that, but I got a bunch of these. So only thing we have to do is just switch them out. See if it will work. Sad to say it will not fit. This will not work because the original um, handle here, it's solid, see that? There's no drill hole in it, so it will not work on this. This little beauty here, this is the Inspira. I haven't used this except for the unboxing, which I kind of shamed off because I got a couple of Inspiras. These are good. Um, my favorite is the Helios. The Inspira is virtually identical to Helios. The only difference at the time was this had none of the computer balancing, which the, um, the Helios did. But now the newer models in Inspira has the um, computer balancing, so things have changed. But let's take a quick look. This, this one here, you have to unscrew this knob. Ooh, this is a good sign. Look at that. See, the, the, you have that thin spindle. That thin spindle means that it has to go into the arm. Yep, look, it has a hole. Look at that, there's a hole there. So, let's see. Ooh, it fit in there. Look at that, it fit in there. Now let's see if, if the threading is correct. What I like about this is, is is the threading count is very high, so it's gonna and it's gonna make a nice, secure, tight fit. Wow! Look at that! It works for the Inspira. So this knob here, the one that is advertised to only work with Samars, works in Spiral because. It has that ho hollow right here. Notice that on the handle? It's hollow. And that, that means that it's threaded. So anything that's hollow and threaded, you have to look at what um, this the replacement knob is. And if it's hollow and threaded like this, it should work. So we just proved that it does work with the Inspira. Just the color is different, but it does work. 
Now, just because it works with the 30 may not mean it work with the 40, but it should. Um, I don't have a 40, so I'm going to have to try that out. Okay, my former employer, Jeff Robles, um, I told him, he asked me um, when I signed on directly with Akuma, because uh, I was underneath him at first, what real impressed me the most? And I said, the Helios. The Helios is uh, like a very light type of reel, but it feels like buttery, buttery smooth. So he gave me a party gift. He gave me a box of all the Helios, including this one here. This is the 30. This is 30. Yep. This one here is the 30. So please, I hope this fits this one. Okay. Ooh. That's the first good sign is, is the threading. Ooh. And the hole. Okay. Fits. Let's see if, if the whole thing fits. Looks like it's going to fit. If it fits the 30, it's going to fit the 40. I have the 40 on right now and I'm using it for jigging. Uh, this 30 here, it can also jig with this. Look at that. I actually kind of like that. This feels good. So, it works with the Helios, guys. For all you guys out there that have this for fresh and salt water use, hey, hey, hey. I am so happy because I have all the Helios, so I'm going to match them all up. All right, so the last one I'm going to try is the Epixor. This is the Epixor 30. Again, this is one of those reels I reviewed um, earlier on when I was with Jeff. And I didn't really have much chance to use it in the wall because I was uh, going to boxes and boxes of not only reels but rods too. So... Uh, and it kind of, and over the years, it kind of got lost in the shuffle because as soon as I got to one box, I got another box. As soon as I got another box, it just continued on and on. Okay. So this is the Pixar. The Pixar is one of the more popular uh, spinners for the freshwater guys. So I think it's about time I tried it for the salt water. Uh, it's one of the better um, spinning wheels out there for bass and trout. It's, it's a higher end low and real if you can understand what I'm trying to get to oh look at that has the hole in it with the threads again it should fit okay I'm not saying it will but it should Ooh, and it does we're in luck now what I'm showing are, are the reels that um, most likely will benefit from the usage of of the uh, power handle knobs. Actually, even though the color, you see this is black and gold with silver. Actually, this kind of works. What do you think? This actually does work. I could actually see using this one. Okay, I guess this might have to hit the field after all. Uh, so there you go okay guys to sum everything up um, these are the ones I'm going to use the most for light to medium light uh, spinning so we, we already found out that it works on the Helios because um, I already tried it on the, the large one this is the medium one you also got the smaller one uh, it, it works on the same R which was this one here, the big one, the 4000, it it works on the Inspira, but unfortunately, um, it didn't work on the ITX. I'm kind of disappointed it didn't work on that. Um, but you know, even on the Pixar, it worked on the Pixar. So even though the company Gomex says that it was only made for the um, that one model of reel, which is the same arm, you have to look at the spindle. You have to look at the configuration. Because uh, this, um, this, the long handle itself was hollow, hollowed out and threaded. And the, end, and the end cap had that long, nice threading. 
So when, if the reel has that, it's gonna work from what I've seen thus far. I'm gonna have to, to actually go into my story to pull out things. This is what I just had at home here. And for me to go to storage, it's gonna be so humbug because it's buried and there's so much stuff I have. So um, I just wanted to give the report. Um, not many people have done this, I think. Um, trying to figure out what other reels, spinning reels you can use the products for. Um, that Gomexis is um, really trying to enlarge their inventory. I'm working with Vernon over there and he's been asking a lot of questions. So I've been doing a lot of this type of spot checking to see what works and what doesn't. So I hope this has really helped you guys out. Thank you.